So what elements does a crime have to have before it is classified as a hate crime? The essential element what makes a crime different for a hate crime different from other types of crime is that prosecution is required to prove that at least a substantial motivation for the crime was a bias or prejudice towards a particular characteristic of the victim. Those characteristics are those shared by everybody. It can be based upon race, ethnicity, nationality, sexual orientation, religion, um, gender, and disability. So recently, the DA's office has charged three men locally with a hate crime um, connected to an assault at a pizza shop. Can you tell me about that? Um, I can tell you what has occurred in open court. We had an arraignment for three individuals charged with a hate crime for an unprovoked attack upon a male Somali victim who is Muslim. Um, he was beaten down in a pizza shop and these three men are being held to answer for the charges. Here at SDSU, school officials say that they are investigating a possible hate crime. Can you tell me if prosecutors are involved in any way? Are, are they aware and investigating as well? Yes, we have been involved and spoken with the detective working um, on that crime here at San Diego State and um, various um, investigators are involved with that case. So um, it has not formally been brought to our office since a suspect has not been identified, but you know, we provide our resources to local law enforcement whenever hate crime occurs. And some people are feeling since this recent presidential election that there's been an uptick in incidents in, in hate crimes. What are we seeing locally? What are you seeing locally? And any evidence of that in San Diego County? Well, we're always um, very vigilant when it comes to these kinds of cases. And a lot of times um, there are certain types of perpetrators who uh, commit these crimes as a reaction, we refer to them as reactionary type offenders. So what's happening right now in the media, what happened post-election, is not surprising to us that there appears to be an increase, if not necessarily hate crimes, but at least hate reported incidents. And you talk about documented, how are these, these crimes documented and, and tracked here in California and in San Diego County, just to see if by chance there, there is a trend? Uh, well, the Department of Justice in California required, we're a mandatory reporter in the state of California, so every police agency, every prosecutor, prosecutor's office is required to provide statistics to the Department of Justice to, so they can provide their stats every year so we can compare year-to-year -year trends. Um, if you look at, again, the Department of Justice, California, there was an increase in hate crimes in California. Comparing 2014 to 2015, a little bit over 10% increase in hate crime events. So the DA's office is reaching out and communicating with the Somali community. Can you talk about how you're doing that and what brought that about? Well, that was um, initiated by the San Diego Police Department. Um, they invited my office of the law enforcement agencies to um, present tomorrow afternoon in, in their community, not too far from where this attack took place at the pizza, at the pizza shop. And we're going to uh, highlight to the Somali community, others present there, that again, we're gonna be very proactive. We continue to be proactive with these cases, but we need definitely need the community's assistance on these cases. In fact, that case we believe was solved by a good, uh, good Samaritan citizen who followed the offenders and um, follow their vehicle away from the location of the crime and, and call police. So we need those types of citizens to stand up and not merely just be a bystander, but actually get involved and take a description, get a license plate, give those descriptions of the suspects to the police. Because these types of cases oftentimes involve issues with identification because it's stranger upon stranger. It may be nighttime, multiple attackers, victims may be under, under the influence of an intoxicant. We need um, good reporting by not only the victims, but by the, by the witnesses and their cooperation with the police. We can't do it alone. Thank you so much. You're welcome.